the video I promised. This is a tour of my sketchbook from my trip to the UK. Um, I was gone from home almost three weeks and had just the most beautiful time. I took with me this small Baohong hot press sketchbook. It's 100% cotton paper and it worked wonderfully. But instead of painting on location as I normally like to do, I used it more as a journal at the end of the day. So while I was out hiking and sightseeing, I just kind of took everything in and then at the end of the day, I would spend time in the pages of my sketchbook and I really enjoyed that routine. And the first page I began with my luggage, everything I took fit it all and it was a little much. But This was a day I went down to see the flowers blooming in the gardens of Dunham Massey Hall and it was beautiful, tulips, all sorts of tulips and daffodils and everything. This was one of my favorite hikes. I was using this ink pen because I didn't want to travel with, um, with a fountain pen. So I took this as a felt tip pen that I put my fountain pen ink in. I put the, um, the new, or not new, but I put the platinum black, carbon black ink in it. So it has a thicker line that I typically like to use, but it travels really, really well. And I was able to have my favorite ink for drawing in lines. So some of the lines you'll see are a little bit thicker than I like. This page I was very unhappy with, but this is what an artist sketchbook can look like. Like um, in the Peak District, just loved the greens. I am I am really happy with how that looks. So if we just kind of remove the other page, and little sheep. There were sheep everywhere. These were some pictures from in the city. I love the long boats on the canals. This was a bar, a pub in Manchester. Doing some more compositions from the Peak District. And then here, I accidentally flipped my book upside down. So that's unfortunate, but it happens. And this was a fun little landscape. So I incorporated a few different landscapes into this drawing. So this is actually a rabbit um, from the Natural History Museum. And then the, this is kind of a scene from one of the parks in downtown and then some of the Peak District. So I sort of um, stitched together a few different things I had seen that week into this little landscape. And instead of using the black ink, I used the white ink and I, I like the way that turned out. And I really, really enjoyed using this hot press paper. So we'll flip this back around. Now here was one of my, I think that was a flat white from the coffee shop. And there was a bookstore, a used bookstore behind the cafe. And this is um, walking through the park in downtown Manchester. These tall, tall trees, I need to find out what they are. And just some more scenes, some more sheep. This was on the train to Scotland. So um, we left Manchester and took the train up to Glasgow and it was just beautiful. It was kind of a gray day, especially in the morning. This was off the coast, southern side of the island. See the little trail and the little tiny person there. I loved trying to capture these landscapes. And I was very happy with, the, I mean, I took a ton of colors and you can see they were all quite full when I left. So 
Um, I actually didn't use much of that when I took out half of that. Um, but you can tell which colors I used a lot of. Goethite was definitely my favorite. Um, and then I actually used a lot of cobalt blue more so than the other blues. I was kind of um, a little interested to see that. Used a lot of the rich green gold, um, also green gold by other, I think this might be the green gold by May Mary Blue, but it's the same pigment as the rich green gold from Daniel Smith. And a little bit of sap green, you can't tell, but I used a lot of undersea green. And this is the um, Holbein Ariolan. Um, it's a hue, so this one is light fast. It's a mixture of pigments. Um, it has that same really rich, almost chartreuse color as you expect the Ariolan, but it is light fast and it's beautiful to work with. So that's what I took with me. And I really kind of stuck to like blues and greens and browns. And the castles. Oh, when we got to Scotland is where we got to see lots of old, old castles. There's another one. That's a different castle. This was an old quarry that um, there was a large flood that it got filled. So. Yellow poppies. I think that might have been the first time I'd ever really seen or noticed or taken note of yellow poppies. And the sun came out when we hiked up to this castle. It was just there on the side of the road. This was one of my favorite hikes. Lots of sheep. Some more scenes. Now you'll see how my greens shift and change, and I think that that was based on the sky color. Um, certain days the sky was more gray. Oh, I missed a whole page. Um, but even on other days with gray skies, you still have like a warmer green. So here's another page. I love this page. I loved, this is the first time I've ever seen the gorse. It's like a shrub. It's a really large scrub, shrub, and it had this scent of almost like coconut. It was so beautiful. Very spiky plant. You don't want to accidentally fall into it, but the yellow was so vibrant and um, just glowed on the landscapes. Another castle. We were able to climb in. Let's see that page again. Hiking along the coast. This was the day that I think I had to wear my rain pants. And this was the day my boots soaked through thick with wet mud in the fields. There were lots of cows in this field that day. And we hiked up and around all the way to the end of the island and then kind of back up and around. A nice big loop. This was a really beautiful, beautiful landscape. Uh, I'll show you the video. This is done at work. Absolutely loved it. This goat fell, hiked up through this valley here, up to this saddle, and over to this peak, and then back down again. That was an epic hike, and I even had my fear of heights kind of wake up that day. This is what the hike felt like once I got up to the heights. I'm just kind of scrambling over these rocks. Standing stones. So I tried to do different um, methods on my pages. So this one I added no ink. Other ones, I added that white pen again. No ink on this one. No ink on this one as well. This one had a lot of black ink. And I think I added the ink once I got home. I didn't want to ruin it with the large pen. 
so I used my favorite fine, my favorite extra fine fountain pen with the same ink and then that's the end Thank you so much for joining me on this journey through my sketchbook and special thank you to my patrons and thank you all so much for your orders on my website. You have no idea what it means to me and um, I just am so thankful that you took this time to watch my flip through and until next time, let me know what you think and um, what kind of videos would you like to see more of in the future.